guys, Ray Smith, welcome to Bluebird Cherbang Tales. Just going to do a couple little small jobs today because the weather is looking a bit dodgy. As you can see, I don't know how well you may be seeing me on the, the video here. But just a couple small jobs in the engine, which I'm going. So I'll just quickly show you what we're up to. Okay guys, I don't know how well this has been recorded, but today... Let me see up there under that, it's quite tough. This little thing here, can't get the stay shut. Absolutely fed up with it. So first job, I'm going to change that. So hang on and we'll see how we get on. Well, that's it off. Oh, goodbye old one. Hello, new one. And I got it from uh, JP Campers. Cost me a couple of pound if you're ever looking for one. Okay, so hang on, I'm just going to see if I can refit it. I'll have to set this down guys because I can't do it one handed. There we go guys, nice one, new one fitted. And, oh lovely. Nice click stairs there. So, job number one. Okay guys, so here we go. This is the second one. Very difficult I think to get here with this sun. So it is. I still lift it out there. You might be able to see it I hope. It's the cover that goes over the main fuses in the engine just below the battery. Um, word of caution, when I first tried to take it out I uh, forced it and it snapped in the middle. And they are bloody hard to get a hold of. Certainly Volkswagen is going to charge you an arm and a leg for one. So I've been trying to get one even in a scrapper, no luck. But about a month ago I came across, I think it's a European Volkswagen site, and I managed to get this one for just £34. Which considering that a second hand one from the scrapyard they're wanting about £35, I think it was a good deal. And for anyone that has to, that's, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's the code for the part if you need to get one. And you see it's a genuine Volkswagen part. So what I've got to do now is I have to take the battery out. It goes in under here, underneath the battery. It covers the big main fuses, the fuses for your charging circuit and some of the other larger fuses, big 75 amp fuse, and big large fuses underneath there. Um, so battery all has to come out, battery tray that it's sitting on has to come out and then these fuses which are inside your engine block they go up into this little box here so they do, they fit up obviously from underneath here okay and then that so when we get that done then hopefully I'll put the old light back on I have nice new lights to go in but that's for another video so that's what I'm going to do now guys so I'll uh, come back to it when I've done it and shown you the as I go so bye for now guys okay guys back again so that's for the, the battery out and um, that's the battery support plate battery plate whatever you want to call it hang in there along with that stupid yellow box anyway so here is your main fuse for anybody who's wondering is your main fuse is for the the bus for the vehicle underneath that tray this one here which I'll be putting in This one here, which I'll be putting in, okay? It sits on top of all of these. Now, as a matter of interest for anybody that, that wants to know, this, this large fuse here is your charging circuit fuse. So it is, and it's a 175 amp fuse. It's the biggest fuse on the bus, okay? So I had a lot of problems with my charging circuit, we were trying everything and it turned out all it was was this fuse was kept blowing 
because of the short that I had in this box here. One of the sh one of the, the fuses in here was shortened to ground and was blowing this fuse all the time. So now we've got that sorted. There's, I don't have to poke the pound more fuses and this is about the first one I've ended up putting in. And then the rest of these are your large fuses. There's 125 next to the 70, a 50, a 60, a 50, and 100. And then this is for your your positive feed to your battery at the end. Okay, so and that's a for spare fuse, but I have no idea where, what, or how you could possibly use that. Oh, there's an idea actually. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. So. If anyone wants to know where their, their, their fuses are, that's their big main fuses. And, as I say, the little box down there, down here, get a better angle, get an angle from here. Sorry for all the jumping around, guys. Just trying to get an angle to show you it. Yeah. This one here, this is your other fuse box, which will come up into this little compartment. So, now to fit this without breaking it. Okay, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, <coughs> sorry, hello guys. Well, just a little word of caution. Originally, my cover for underneath the battery for the fuses in the engine when I got it was cracked. It split when I took it out several months ago. I've been trying to source a new one ever since. Difficult to come across. Must be a common problem or something. So I ordered this one. Volkswagen, yeah. Looks the same, yeah. No, it's not the same. And you match them up, the new one I don't know if you can see that or not, it's shorter along that side. So it won't fit mine. It must be from maybe uh, 2010 onwards or something. They must have modified them or did something. So, ah, disaster. What did I do? Lucky enough, a few, about a month or so back, because I had some work to do on the bumper, a couple of little brakes and things, and I was looking online and I came across these these little sort of hot gun things that you get a little sort of bridging I don't know, staple, I suppose for want of another word and you just melt them in and that joins together the parts and strengthens them so that's what I'm doing now so I've nearly finished this side, I might do a few from the other side possibly and then what I'm thinking, but I don't know if it works or not I don't know, uh, can you fiberglass on plastic? Because what I was thinking of doing is maybe use fiberglass and over it to strengthen it and to help seal it up. So I'll let you know whenever I find out. So I'm just going to show you how easy this thing works. So just give me a second. We turn it on when I have it on at full power because this is quite tough plastic. You simply take the little staple and you put it into the holder. And then this is the button here that you hold to activate the heat. And then all you do, if I can do this and keep everything out of the road. Sorry guys, a bit awkward to do one no, single handed. So I'm going to do another one down here. Okay, my glasses on. So you simply position where you're going to do your staple, like that. Just hold it gently, you don't have no, no great pressure, the heat does the work. Then I switch it on, and I'll have to look at it myself guys, because I can't see through the thing. There it is, it's starting to melt in. It's starting to go down. So I keep applying the heat until I get it down to a depth that I'm happy with which to me is about there. Let off the heat. And one solid staple joint. So if you have any plastic 
you can't get the bits for I'd highly recommend one of these new machines they really are good for preparing the professionals use them that's how they repair parts so anyway I'm going to continue and I'll get back to you and let you know how things are going off but look at that that's just look, look at that look how strong that is do you know what I mean and that's only the staples in it so great wee system I also use that to, to fix a couple of small cracks in uh, some of the small cross members on the bumper and it did a great job far better than plastic glue so I'm going to see if I can rub this down a bit now and uh, find out if we can fiberglass it or find some other way of sealing the, the gaps in the hole the gaps in the hole <laughs> yes them two <laughs> are sealing all the gaps um, to make it waterproof and then we can get it on and I can get a big sigh of relief start getting my engine back together get the pumper on although if it stays dry I hope to get the uh, oil level sensor done today which I hope I'll be able to video as well so back again the way well guys and show you how things are going on hi guys welcome back to Bluebird Cherubang Tales this is the wee uh, cover fuse cover for uh, an engine bay that I was working on yesterday um, it's the first time ever fiberglassing so I'm not quite sure maybe it's because of the black background but I think that's worked out not too bad put it this way it's uh, as tough as nails there's no way look no way I think it's tougher than it was before so I wish I'd have done that ages ago but to be anxious yeah anxious to be honest I wasn't sure about fiberglassing you know I know it looks easy but uh, so, so many little things can go wrong but I think I'll do my purposes I think that's sealed but what I'm going to do anyway because it does look a bit of a Frankenstein I'm going to just give it a rub down now and give it a bit of a spray with a, a black paint just to make it look a little bit more aesthetic so but I'm pleased the way it's turned out um, it's functional maybe the form and the aesthetic isn't that great but as long as it works and keeps the water out from the fuses um, that's all I'm concerned about so this is just another little job in the list of many 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 jobs to be done <laughs> as somebody in a famous movie once said and I can't remember <laughs> okay guys so I'll add this to some of the other videos I'll join them all together to make a, a little sort of long type video to show you all the bits and bobs anyway take care guys and uh, oh welcome to my new subscribers I'm very glad you have you on board and I'm hoping you're enjoying and please do comment share thumbs up and let me know what you think so here we go guys so there we are that's it all stapled together and the staples trimmed back and look it's really strong only thing is it's open yeah I did try a disaster tried to melt all the plastic together join as some of you suggested in YouTube turned out to be a complete and utter disaster when he made the thing worse but now I'm going to send send I'm going to cut some of the little staples in this back end trim them down just to give it a bit more strength both sides and then I'm going to see Google and see if I can uh, use fiberglass on it and that would seal it up and really strengthen it and uh, then I can get it fitted and get that off my hair anyway see you in a short while guys bye okay guys <coughs> so we're back <coughs> this is the little unit it's the power tack hot stapler plastic repair system bought it from screw fix I don't think it was that dear so if anyone is interested that's where I got it from and here is our repair again this is 
three unit done up with the first coat of plastic primer was put on and then this is the first coat of blue paint which will match with the other and this is another little bit for the dash I found that I hadn't painted so I'll take the opportunity to paint it at the same time so that's got a big giveaway it's going to be black and blue in the dash as long as me being black and blue with doing all this bloody work <laughs> anyway so that's the first coat uh, it's still rough and ready there but uh, at least that takes some of the worst luck off it but you'll not see it anyway that'll be buried all underneath the battery but whatever's exposed will look nice so anyway I'll film it later when we've finished with a probably another couple of coats I would think and that will do it so bye for now guys and talk to you later hi guys right back so here we are here's the finished product as I say yes that doesn't look lovely by any means but that's not the point it's as strong as anything I couldn't even flex or bend it so as I say I just give the whole thing a quick coat of blue this is the blue I'll be using on the bus all over the place see all right so Hope you enjoyed these little videos and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.